Welcome to Singularity. Where we help you do things better, smarter, and faster. I'm Mario. And I'm Nina. Today, we're going to talk about why you need backup, why it's important, what kinds of backup you need, because there's two kinds, and how to do it. It protects you from stuff that happens to your building. If you have a robbery, if you have electrical shorts that knock out all your systems, if you have storms, floods, or zombies that wipe out your house, wipe out your business, and you need to get your stuff back, that's where backup comes in. In-house backup and cloud backup, I recommend both to keep all your stuff secure. It'll save you against device failure, it'll save you against disaster, it'll save you against virus infection. You need that kind of protection. Your on-site backup ensures you have minimal disruption if there is a loss in data, you can recover very quickly. There's two methods to do it. The easiest method is to just hook up an external drive to each important machine in your house and have Windows do its automatic backup to that external drive. There's a second option for on-site backup. It's called a NAS, Network Attached Storage. What it is, is a box with hard drives inside. A hard drive system with a few extra bells and whistles. Instead of connected directly to your computer, it connects directly to your network. So now the benefit to using a NAS box, most of them are set up with a RAID array on their hard drives. RAID gives you one extra level of protection because one hard drive dies, the second one holds all the data. Actually, all of this is built into Windows. In Windows 7, you use the backup and restore function. It takes five minutes to go through the menu, but you can schedule it to do a backup for you every night at 3 a.m. In Windows 8, it gets a little easier. You use what's called the file history function, and not only backs them up, but keeps a history of all your revisions as you've changed each file over the months and years. This is very similar to another system which you Apple people have known for a while, is Time Machine. It's built into every Apple computer and it's their built-in backup system. You set up Time Machine on an external drive or on a NAS, any network location, and it'll save copies of all your stuff and multiple revisions of all your stuff as they change over the years. Your off-site backup is your fail-safe, ensuring that if anything happens to your on-site backup or all your computers on-site or your location, you still have all of your data secure. It'll have a separate copy of all your stuff in the data centers. Your data would be not only RAID secure, where it's on multiple hard drives at once, it's also geographically secure. It's replicated inside two or three times inside each data center. So you have four to six copies of your information in there on top of your on-site backup that you already have. You're very secure at that yeah. point. My two favorites happen to be Backblaze and Carbonite. Both have really easy setup options. Backblaze's business model is very good for individuals and families. A fixed price every year backs up everything you want. Carbonite has a slightly different business model, but appeals to business owners because they can do servers, and with Carbonite, you pay by the gigabyte, but it's well worth it. Last but not least, it's not as professional as the other two, but I want to mention CrashPlan. CrashPlan is a very interesting app. Their basic free one lets you and a friend work together to keep your backup safe. Your backups get saved to his computer and his backups get saved to yours. It requires some trust and that guy better have some hard drive space. But it's an interesting way to keep your stuff protected and secure. Most of them have a 30 day free trial. Take your vendor, all the ones I've mentioned are good. You'll sign up, you download the app, the app installs, and most of them automatically choose 
what you want to back up. It'll get everything in your document, if you, in your documents folder, music, movies, and pictures. If you need anything else back up, it's really easy to poke into the app settings and choose extra folders and extra places that you want backed up in your computer. Don't make the mistake of utilizing offsite backup at your service provider. Service providers like us sometimes offer backup onto their servers at the location. Nowhere near as secure and in no way recommended rather than using a cloud backup at a service where you have multiple redundancies to keep your information secure. If you've already set up your backup, you need to test it at least once a quarter and see if you can bring it back using either of your backup services. Nobody likes to do it. It's boring to talk about, but it'll save your ass. Get some backup. Let's get back to work.